Hello, I'm delighted to have Greg Bentley with us today. Greg is the CEO of Bentley Systems, a leading supplier of engineering design tools for industry and infrastructure. Welcome, Greg. Thank you, Andy. Greg, you came to our forum four years ago and you made a couple of acquisitions at that time and you also announced a new initiative called AssetWise. How, could you tell us how is that AssetWise community growing for you? Well, good, Andy. And to put that in context, of course, at Bentley Systems, we've just observed our 30th anniversary as a company. Uh, along the way, we've grown from five Bentley brothers to now just over 3,200 people in 55 countries in the world. We're just over $650 million in revenue, and we've uh, uh, managed to become number one in the uh, ARC ratings of, uh, for design tools and infrastructure in many categories. But our, throughout the 30 years, our mission has been sustaining infrastructure. And sustaining, of course, would put emphasis on you know, beyond design and analysis and construction asset performance for infrastructure owners. In fact, that's all the value that's created along the way is for sake of the owners and their constituents. So indeed, four years ago, uh, our initiative at, at the time was to go beyond, if you like, our portfolio of microstation platform and design modeling applications, and then our project-wise platform for comprehensive project delivery and collaboration to announce asset-wise for commissioned assets to focus on operations and maintenance. And indeed, we've come a long way in those four years. In fact, we, we can measure our progress. You might know or not that, that we compile each year the Bentley Infrastructure 500 top owner operators of infrastructure in the world, and we, we, we rank them on the basis of their tangible, their net tangible fixed assets. Uh, and together, just the top 500 owners in the world own over $16 trillion of infrastructure assets, and there's much to be gained from helping them in their operational efficiencies. 390 of the 500 are now users of our Bentley software subscriptions. Uh, we, and we've just reached the milestone of 100 of them use our AssetWise platform, uh, and now over half of our revenues are directly for owner operators. Of course, the remaining half of our revenues from the contractors of various Stripe who serve those owner operators. That sounds great. Uh, I uh, uh, understand you have recently uh, acquired another company called C3 Global. Could you tell us a little bit about uh, what is your rationale for acquiring this company? Indeed, Andy. And, and so a couple years ago, our, our major acquisition was of Ivara Corporation, a leader in asset performance management. Uh, Ivara it has a deep solution for reliability-centered maintenance and risk-based inspection. And indeed, we've announced here a new version of AssetWise APM software, as we describe it. But that's deep. And the, in, the operational analytics opportunity is broad. Uh, C3 Global's product is Amulet. Amulet, AssetWise Amulet will now address, with, by way of a horizontal tool set, the opportunities in operational analytics uh, in industry. So if you like, uh, bridging the operational technologies, the sensors and, logger, and loggers, uh, and, uh, and we might now say existing conditions capture that operational engineers know. And then the information technology on the other side that, that we've come from uh, and bring those together. So Amulet, now asset-wise Amulet, uh, the product has been in the market now for over 15 years and, and has a strong following globally, but now with the abundance of, of, of big data and opportunities with analytics, uh, we, we believe the opportunities are there. If you like, we have worked at Bentley Systems, I might say, below the waterline of an iceberg. There's the requirements for asset lifecycle information management, ultimately for uh, owner operators. We've done a good job, I think, of with, with our AssetWise platform of making, of allowing information mobility, if you like, and reuse of engineering information, making it self-describing and available for other applications and purposes. 
but above the waterline, if you like, there, there's an opportunity to support the queries that, that constitute decision support for smarter and more efficient operations. And generally, that's been, and that could take great advantage of, of the asset lifecycle information management, but generally that's been left to someone else or not done at all. So with Amulet, we can touch home plate and for all of our owner operators, and not only those, with APM, which have a deep commitment to reliability-centered maintenance. The, those we have a good offering for. But now supplement that with a broad offering of industrial analytics to, to result in prescriptive and, and predictive uh, solutions for smarter operations of infrastructure. I understand you have made another acquisition just uh, yesterday. Uh, could you tell us uh, about that a little bit? Well, this one I think is also relevant. It's the acquisition of, that is for owner operators uh, and asset wise. It's our acquisition of Acute 3D and they are leaders in the technologies, uh, a French company uh, for what we call reality modeling. Now reality modeling would be processing observations of existing conditions of infrastructure and, and creating representations that can create the context for design modeling, construction modeling, and what we call asset performance modeling. Now, reality modeling has been possible to date through, for instance, laser scanning to create 3D models that are point clouds. And we have been a leader and a pioneer in, in making that source of existing conditions context available for design and asset management applications. But, Laser scanning requires special equipment and special crews, and it's not likely to be done very often. The other problem with laser scanning is that the point cloud is computationally intractable, if you like. It's, it's very large, can't be persisted on any particular computer or storage device. It's noisy, and it's not particularly prone to, to attaching intelligence. So there's two breakthroughs that Acute 3D now brings to the marketplace so that reality modeling can be part of every project and every asset's workflows. First, the existing conditions observations are by way of normal digital pho pho photographs. So for instance, that which can be captured by the unmanned aerial vehicles, the UAVs, that I believe are going to be part of the maintenance fleet for every infrastructure asset before next conference, that, that's what I think. So digital photographs from UAVs, and which can be supplemented by digital photographs taken from ground observations, which by the way you can do with your own smartphone. So you have in your pocket now a sufficient captured device for existing conditions that the acute 3D software now processes into a 3D reality mesh not a point cloud. You can get a point cloud subsequently if you'd like, but the reality mesh is an efficient, compact, and intelligent representation of existing conditions. So first of all, easy to capture your drone, supplement it if you like with normal digital photographs. And we showed here a, a, a model of a process plant created with only 250 digital photos taken out the window with a standard DSLR camera from a ultralight plane. In future, that will be by way of a UAV with a comparable simple camera. 250 such photos taken in five minutes and creating a sufficiently precise and detailed mesh, not large, compact, and, and presenting these existing conditions in exactly the 3D modeling idiom of your design model, your construction model, and becoming your asset performance model, where now, easy to acquire, use your UAV, your smartphone, simple tractable result, and now I think existing conditions can truly be existing and frequently be updated. I was just talking to the folks here who, who, are, who represent the offshore platform constituency. And, and I think that you will have existing conditions capture maintained throughout the life cycle of infrastructure assets now by virtue of, uh, of this breakthrough, the acute 3D acquisition. We're going to make it part of our platform both in uh, comprehensive project delivery and asset performance management. 
Greg, all of this is very interesting. Uh, uh, thank you for being with us uh, today. Thank you, Andy. We have been speaking with Greg Bentley, CEO of Bentley Systems, a leading supplier of engineering design tools for industry and infrastructure. Thank you for watching.